Mm. Oh, it doesn't make a difference. Our beauty lighting. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. All right, so. Everyone, minus Joe, sorry Joe. Do you guys think you guys were groomzillas? What's a groomzilla? No. No, bridezilla? Oh, God. Groomzilla? No. No, not at all. That's why um, you were excluded. I was a bridesman, Zilla. <laughs> <laughs> I was so long. Wait, groomsman, Bill? <laughs> bridesman? Bride. I didn't get strippers just so my best man didn't have to deal with his chick asking about strippers and shit. Really? You did it for yeah. him? I did it for what? Did it for the whole group, so they didn't have to worry about all that shit. Wait, what? If you didn't have to worry about that, you would have gotten strippers. Hell yeah, I would have got strippers. So he's saying he didn't get strippers so that hit the 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 groom's bride oh, wouldn't the, give him shit yeah. about the strippers. Oh, oh, when you set up the best man thingy. Yeah. When you were a best man. I got my best man. Best man. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. He was the groom. You're no, getting confused. No. I was not the best man. He you was, were the groom. I was the groom. Yeah. Oh! I got strippers for my other buddy. Yeah, right. Big time. We got him so many lap dances. Oh, so you didn't get strippers because then all of the guys would have got in trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a, it. a couple of the guys would have got in trouble. That's oh. lame. It's all good. <laughs> but it's your wedding. Well, I'm not a groom. Blame, it, blame it on the wives. Yeah. Yeah. Some sure. of the fucking yeah. women. It wasn't the best man. It was a, one of the couple, couple of grooms. That yeah. sucks. Maybe they have a dead, they have a dangerous relationship. Dangerous? It's not solid. I'm not so healthy. Yeah. There's no there's trust. Some jealousy. There's some yeah. jealousy. Or maybe the dudes can't resist temptation. You gotta blame it on the guys too. And that's so why not. there's no trust. Thank you, Bart. Thank you. <laughs> hey. Wow. I always got both sides. Love it. <laughs> Very woke. All right. Well, I have a M I D asshole, but this is written by the groom. And a lot of people in the comments initially, they assumed it was a bride for this situation. And then he ends up adding at the bottom. By the way, I'm a man. Just so you know, everyone <laughs> shouting bridezilla is being very sexist. <laughs> I am the man in this relationship, and while my fiance and I agree on this issue entirely, I'm the one who posted the submission. He just wrecked himself. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. How could you wreck yourself any harder than that? So, the whole am I the asshole thing, just to condense it, they're pretty much just, uh, just, they want to know if they are the assholes for enforcing, like strictly enforcing a dress code for their wedding. So they're saying that it's a very strict white tie dress code. White and that tie? They've been very clear from the beginning. Just white tie? I, I, like, you know, like the like casual, business casual, formal, whatever. Apparently, white tie is one of those is categories. Oh, oh just wear, everybody has to wear a white tie. I don't know if that's now, literal. Uh, yeah, well, because when, when it's a black tie dress code, you don't necessarily have to wear black tie, but I've never heard of white tie. Exactly. Yeah. Explain to me what a black tie dress code is. Like a suit. It's just yeah, like, it's like it's just, so everyone has to wear a white suit then. No, no, no. It's just it's just the suit. Get what a white tie is. That's, that was my question. Yeah, is black tie is white tie attire? <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, it's like a black tie thing. Oh no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, white tie is also called full evening dress or dress suit. Is the most formal and traditional. So like the most, like oh. the most, like the, with the tail coat. Oh, yeah. thing. oh yeah. so suits are not allowed. Must be tuxedo. Yeah, yeah like that. Oh, Tails. Okay, okay. Yeah. That clears it up. You have to look like a pain in the ass. Oh, here we go. What's the difference between white tie and black tie? Oh yeah, please, please. What's the difference? Okay, while a tuxedo is ideal for both, it only requires tails for a white tie occasion. So you have to have the fucking tails. Fucking tails? Oh, yeah. Yikes. That's so They're having extra. a penguin attire. It says also, while white tie requires a white waistcoat, black tie needs a black waistcoat or cummerbund. Mm. Chill out, bro. Bun. Where was his wedding at? I don't know because it's Am I the Asshole Anonymous. Probably guy. the Magic Castle. <laughs> 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 Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> the wedding had a theme. What is it with you and the magician? I like to make fun of magicians. It's funny. Jeez. <laughs> uh, the Magic Castle is super fun. It so. is. Yeah, it's pretty cool. fun. It's alright. It was great. I've never even been in I, I, I got invited. I passed. Why? That's why you're hating. No, I didn't get it. I love it. Because you have it. Exactly. I like magic, man. I want to go. Okay, anyway, we're back to this. So, they're saying that they have been very, very strict with the white tie attire. White tie attire. Okay, and fair enough. They even said, uh, quote, the invitations we sent explicitly told our guests that we'd be expecting from them white tie, no unnatural dyed hair like mine, no visible tattoos or piercings. Whoa. Are you shitting me? And that they were free to decline the invitation if they had a problem with this. Huh? So from the RSVPs, wow. they have been very clear on how insanely strict they were gonna be for, with this dress code. And they were saying that it's because 
of the the wedding photos that they were very very mm. much. It would look forward. weird if if, it, if it's a steampunk wedding and then like grandma's coming in with the moo moo. Yeah, mm. it just doesn't fit. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, Does not yeah. fit the yeah. steampunk yeah. thing. Yeah. 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 So then they're saying like. Uh, I mean, it is their wedding, I guess. Yeah. No, no, I get that. I guess they have a different definition of what a wedding is than what most people like. Most people are just like, I want my loved ones. I want to share this moment and be like, you know, in love with everything in, in, in my marriage. And these people seem to be more in love with the image of. They it. want cool pictures. Yeah, yeah, cool pictures. Don't fuck with my pictures. Hey, listen, everybody wants cool pictures. I mean, that's facts. True. Yeah, Give me true. a fucking break. But then, if they're gonna take the pictures, why don't they just have that one person that didn't dress the fucking part to get the hell out of the frame? Yeah. Too. Yeah. I was thinking the same thing too, but because some people want like candid photos. That's actually what we wanted from our photographer, and then somehow on the day of the wedding, we forgot that that's what we told him. Is like we don't want to pose. He started we posing ended up us, spending like two hours on just oh, posing God. for photos. But during like that whole like commotion, I completely forgot that I was like, wait, I didn't even want this. <laughs> and he's like, this wasn't the plan, but whatever. <laughs> Do this. Dude, we missed out on those fucking hors <laughs> d'oeuvres. He's like, these people love the pose. Jesus, I thought they said no posing. <laughs> <laughs> 200 poses. <laughs> no, honestly, like, I'm really disappointed, and I really wish we would have enforced that better during the day because almost all the wedding photos from that photographer, I absolutely hate. Isn't it so hard to be the performer and the producer? Oh, absolutely. Like, that's probably why bridezillas are are so common because they have to run everything while they're it's their day, yep. and it's not yeah. something you can do over. Exactly. <laughs> There's so much pressure on that one day. There's exactly. No and the money. But seriously, like after having a wedding, then you get to learn of every like. If we would redo it, there's so many things I would have done differently. Yeah, yeah, we were we were glad we got a wedding planner for sure. I did. I got one. You got one too. Not, aren't they supposed to run everything? Yeah, they, or they just uh, suck. Like the stage manager. You yeah, know what I'm I mean, she did. She did her job and all that. It was just like I guess we didn't communicate to her that we wanted candid wedding photos, and then so the photographer oh. ended up like scheduling out a block uh. of like photograph time. Whatever. Anyway, back to this. Yeah, yeah, so please. They're saying the struggles. Uh, another, like quote from the "Am I the asshole?" thing. It says, "In our opinion, while wearing knee-length dresses and suits rather than tux might be appropriate for day-to-day -day life, they will doubtlessly, doubtlessly look out of place at a wedding that is supposed to be fully formal. True. We are hosting a private event where we are able to set the rules. Having been to other weddings over the years, we have fully complied with the wishes of the marrying couple, and we do not see why." We should not be given the same treatment. They even write like they wear top hats and fucking tail coats. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. Indubitably, I do not understand. Uh, <laughs> still why is this a, a unreasonable request? Yeah. yeah, he's got the monocle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So at this point, it seems as though people have already RSVP'd. They again have stressed throughout this entire planning mm. portion of the time that. We will enforce this. And so now that they, these people have already RSVP'd and they're getting closer to the wedding date, people are coming in saying like, oh, can can I do like wear flats after the ceremony? Like, you know, mm. if my feet get tired or like grandma's feet are going to get tired or whatever. Wow. And then so they're like, we told you. Glass slippers only. Said. <laughs> Stripper heels. And so they're asking like, are we the assholes? Because we were very clear. And then now that we're getting close to the wedding date, now you guys want to come in with different attire mm. when we were very Yes, curious. but here's the thing. You're throwing yes. an asshole party. That's yeah. what I was just going to say. That. That's it. You're the asshole, but you have the right to be the asshole. Yeah. yeah. Every yeah. single right in the world. You did communicate you're going to be an asshole. Yeah, exactly. It, it's You're not... <laughs> You're doing an asshole thing to begin with. Yeah. yeah like, do, yeah. do they not understand that? It's like having a fuck everyone march. Yeah. And I'm like, don't I have the right to do this? And it's like, and people are like, yo, you shouldn't probably do this. And I'm like, well, I, I said, I said I was doing it. Right. Yeah. And you know what? The thing is, too, like, when you haven't been to weddings before, like, because when I went to my homegirl's wedding, like, the first wedding I really ever went to as a grown person, I didn't know I was supposed to even RSVP, you know what I'm saying? I thought I could just show up. Uh, Until she was like, hey, uh, you gonna RSVP? Because we need to get the food. I was like, oh shit, I didn't even know. So there's a lot of shit you don't, like people don't even look at the reservations really, or the invitation, yeah. until you are, are like, all right, what's the address for this shit? What's on to show up? Yeah, the the wedding else. etiquette, it's, yeah. it's kind of all over the place. Dude, right. Not until you get married, because I didn't know that the couple, each person that they're inviting is a price tag. Like they're literally right. paying yeah. for every you person don't think that's about going. That. 
I never knew that. Mm -hmm. Also, if you don't put that you have a cash bar on your fucking invitation, you're a douchebag. Mm -hmm. You can go fuck yourself, cousin. You know who you are. What's a cash bar? Oh, like as opposed to an open bar, a cash like you have to pay for your drinks at the wedding. And all I'm saying is not warning people so that they can bring cash because a lot of us are oh. cards only most of the time. True. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? So we had to go like hike to an ATM. No way. They couldn't even bring a freaking little thingy like a square. Nothing. And then just swipe the cards. Wow. If only. How are they gonna have a destination wedding? Without an ATM. Yep. Wait, it was a destination wedding? It was not a destination. It might as well have been. It was <laughs> like. Well, I, I was thinking it was a destination to Fresno, California. Yeah, exactly. It was in Orange County. So Santa Barbara, I had to drive an hour and a half for this motherfucker. That's true. <laughs> At least late. you were invited. <laughs> True. Hey, you were in Malibu. That was not. That was pretty nice, yeah, actually. It was a nice drive. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pleasant drive. Well, in case you guys are curious, they were labeled the asshole. Mm. Asshole. Mm. Yeah. That's so funny how people pull such a strict, unreasonable event and expect that other people are gonna comply with it. Like, mm. that's just hard. Yeah. But that is their, I guess, event mm -hmm. to be strict about. So I get it too, I'm like, I don't know. I get it is, but it's like asking grandma to go goth, cause you're like, whole thing is goth, right? Yeah. So it's like, yeah. yo grandma, like this is my shit. And then they're like, yeah, I'll fucking do it, but like, Yo, do I have to wear these platform shoes though? Come on, man. Like it's it's hard on grandma's yeah, feet. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. And, and the thing is too, they because they wanted like their aesthetic to be all like the same and shit, right? Yeah. For the pictures, but you can pick pictures to not be in your right. album. You can be like, oh, okay, yeah. this guy has his tattoos out, this guy's not wearing his tails, like take that picture out of the album, you know? Like yeah. it's not that serious. There's Photoshop too, you They're know. They're Photoshop yeah. tattoos, man. True. True. So to them, that what they're communicating is my aesthetic, my visuals are more important than your presence and my friendship. With yeah, you. that's mm -hmm. exactly what they're saying. What, what, what they're communicating. That's yeah. cringe. Yeah. Because at least for like with our wedding, people were asking like, wait, so what should we wear? Because they like people were being mindful of what we would want, and I was like, well, this is the theme. Like, I don't. If you guys want to wear this, you can go ahead. But yeah. yeah, it's not like someone's showing up like me. Shirtless and fucking shoeless. With his own fan that he brought with a battery. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Is that in frame? Oh, yeah. Barely. <laughs> I'm hot. But your shit was in Paris, so no one went to your wedding. Yeah, no one went to our wedding. <laughs> It was like 40 people. <laughs> That's tight. That's a lot of people to get to Paris though. I know, That's but true. we pay for our own ticket. True. I was yeah. like, if you can get yourselves there, because we care. Come to the wedding. That's tight. We care to pay for that. I bought a suit for it. Like, you look good in that suit. But that's real friendship right there is you pay that fucking buddy to go and you don't fucking bitch about it, you just do it. Yeah. So they're assholes on both sides, maybe. Of course. Yeah, but then, yeah, I, I got money so I could do it. But people should maybe just fuck <laughs> Like fuck these it. people? Yeah, maybe like just, if your homie wants it, were you to wear a tux, just wear a tux. Yeah, yeah. read the fucking like, invitation. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. If everyone has to come in with a curly mustache, <laughs> fucking do it, dude. Grow that shit out, you you got a Get warning. Take one, do it's it. It's just one night. Like, know, why right? can't everyone just look the same just for one fun. night? Yeah. I do think like if if your feet are fucking tired, man, like fucking let let your auntie yeah. wear from 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 some, some flats, yeah. flats after the ceremony. I know yeah. it's ridiculous, and they were like, "Nope, we told you." Dude, but maybe it's some shit where like you don't want to invite your auntie who complains about her feet problems all the time. So that's their way of weeding it out. You can come, but uh, shoes on, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Deal with that. Figure it out. Like with destination weddings, when you don't want most people to do go. it because you don't yeah. want people to go. Why do you think we got married yeah. in Paris? Uh, here's the names of all the people we didn't want to go. <laughs> <laughs> so